First and the foremost point in career is love what you are doing. Our careers are our responsibility. Be proactive on your work. Keeping an open mind. Keep trying the new things. Believing in your leaders. Have role models uh, within the organization, within the industry, or even more broadly. People who are high performers need to accept failures and be vulnerable. Try and build as many diverse skills as you can early in your career. Practice a lot of perseverance. The awareness around the opportunities gives you a great idea for the next step. In any career, you have to be in the right place at the right time. And then take chances and do difficult roles. Strive for perfection in whatever you do. Uh, be curious about your job. Have the courage to make that choice when you are presented with it. Have lots and lots of passion. Uncomfortable, that's the signal for the growth. It's not a very clear straight road to a career as a director or any other leadership role within our business. Roll up your sleeves, take on the stretch assignment, get uncomfortable and doors will open up. I've had choices to make. I chose very early on to go between sales and marketing in order to shape. I had choices to accelerate within my function at that time. I chose to take a local modern trade leadership role in Pakistan. Intention being to strengthen myself and the commercial capabilities that I have. I have started my career in finance department. After a while, I realized that this is not my dream career and I decided to move uh, marketing. I was cu curious to understand the challenges of sales, manage expectations of customers, uh, and it was a really great experience for me to understand customer perspective, competition. Uh, it was great to improve my negotiation skills. I've had the great fortune of working at Kellogg for uh, over 21 years now, and over that time I've had a phenomenal career um, in sales, customer marketing, and also being part of the global team. I've made some choices around moving to different countries to take on new life experiences, but also professional experiences to get to my end career goal. And for that, I'm forever grateful of Kellogg for giving me the opportunity. My career has gone down a specialist path. And while some may think that's limiting, you know, for me, I've had lots of different opportunities and assignments over that time. And it's led me to my current role, um, which sits on the Australian leadership team, uh, as well as working uh, for the EMEA team. This was a role that came to me early in my career, a role in corporate audit when I was a rookie. And the kind of learning that I got out of it was immense. I got to see the entire business right from procurement to production, the value chain to selling in the market, which I would have never got in the regular front end roles that I was doing. It was also a huge opportunity to be able to see how leaders think strategically very early in my career. It was a great 
time for learning conflict management because the role I was in required me to talk to people who had very passionately made plans and businesses to be honest find faults in them but more importantly convince them on the mitigating actions and of course uh, you know it was a team where i was working with very very diverse people from various cultural backgrounds and it taught me that how to work in a non hierarchical setup with collaboration i started my career in 1993 as a sales representative i was assigned as a trade marketing manager i realized I couldn't contribute any strategic discussion then I chose assistant brand manager role it was very challenging and hard for me but now I recognized this experience enhanced my strategic thinking skill and also at the cross functional collaboration capability 3 years ago I got the great opportunity to take a regional role and I moved from Japan to Singapore One of the reasons why I made this choice was I knew there was an opportunity for me around the long-term and the strategic thinking. And I was really sure the experience in the regional role helped me strengthen this area significantly. Uh, as I reflect upon my career, I can say it has been uh, shaped by virtue of my behavior, my attitude, aggression, adaptability, and accountability which I showed over the years. Uh, also in order to succeed your career there has to be potential matching opportunities and vice versa uh, which if i have to sum it up uh, these are three essentially the three c's chances uh, choices and courage uh, in effect the few chances i got some of the choices i made and courage which i displayed has brought me to here i have managed to do four roles and i have managed to level up three times two things that have worked really well for me are taking chances and having the courage to pick up difficult tasks twice i managed to demonstrate this once was in 2016 when i was able to relaunch pringles in india and the second time in 2018 when i got the chance to head e-commerce and direct to consumer sampling channel At the end I think it's just about your career is in your hands. It is very important for one to have faith in oneself and on the company. To think long term about what you want to do personally and professionally. If required, move out from your comfort zone time to time. So enjoy, love what one does and make the most out of your career. You are your career. Go out and make it happen. Do it's a lovely dark and deep but i promise to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep